walking downfield. You know, you don't want to do anything to discourage those guys from getting physically involved. So first and ten from the 40. Durant slings it out to the sideline. Dallas Baker says he has it. The officials confer they're going to make the judgment. They're saying no catch. Baker's had a bit of a tough afternoon here. A couple of drops, that penalty call, and then just when he thinks he has a catch, oh, that looks like it's pretty close. Well, he's right on the sideline, though. It's not a matter of whether he held on to the football. It looked like he was on the sideline when he caught it. No to bounds. And there's no video challenge coming from the rider's side, so it's right in front of their bench as well. Second down and 10. Again, a deep drop for Durant. Going deep down field. And caught. Gets lap again. Inside the Argo five yard line. Chris Gets lap continues to kill the Toronto Argonauts. 65 yard run after the gun by Darian Durant. A deep post type route that turns into a cross. Darian Durant couldn't have thrown a more perfect pass to Chris Getzlaff on this play. Monster afternoon for Getzlaff. Five catches, 137 yards, and a touchdown. Don't think that he's going to be a feature guy here in this series as well. Now first and goal from the Argonaut five-yard line. to Dressler, he'll score! Touchdown! And just like that, the Saskatchewan Rough Riders have their first lead of the ball game. Well, two things caught up to the Toronto Argonauts all at once. Their failure to get to the end zone in a number of opportunities, and their inability to prevent the big play. Marion Durant combining with Chris Getzlaff again. And now, Milo's point after. Makes it a two-point game again, but this time in favor of the guys in green and white, 14-12. Dressler in motion, his sixth major score of the season. Just over five minutes into the third quarter, and the complexion of this game changes considerably. Following some blocks, Owens runs over one rider. Argos will start at their 37-yard line. Well, the big play on the last drive was the bomb, Darian Durant to Chris Getzlaff, which sets up this, the slot back sweep to Weston Dressler. The Argos get caught inside the box. Dressler virtually untouched around the outside. Yeah, I know, but make sure that the concepts, right, don't run into a Such a slow start. This receiving core, keep in mind, Andy Fantuz has not been in in this second half. Gets left, breaks it again. Giles now trying to respond. And Jermaine Copeland cut down there by Chris McKenzie, James Patrick in the area. It's like half the first down yardage for Cope. Pretty good coverage on the play, particularly the assist from Chris McKenzie coming up quickly to make that tackle. Tells you a lot about the Argo futility. Jermaine Copeland, their leading receiver in yardage. Came into the game 18th in the league. Corey Boy down Main Street. Up near the midfield strike. Good run by him. Argos will move the sticks again. A uh, nice key breaker there by Argos offensive coordinator Jamie Elizondo. What a lot might have anticipated as a passing situation. Corey Boyd, as you see, motion back into the backfield after getting a look, but Saskatchewan lines up with only five men in the box. A great opportunity to keep the ball on the ground. First and 10 from the Argo 52. This time it's Jeff Johnson. 
A minimal gain. So they're setting up another throwing down. It's Jamie Elizondo, the offensive coordinator of the Argos. And the guy who's got this offense moving a little bit under Stephen Giles, but the pressure mounts with every every possession where they don't get to the end zone. Argos have done much better today in the second down department. See if they can keep this drive alive. The time, Giles, Terrius George in pursuit. No. Goes deep downfield, trying to lay out for it, but unable to get it is Spencer Watt. So the punt team will come out again. And Tristan Jackson was all over Spencer Watt. On well, the pressure, again, forcing Stephen Giles out of the pocket. Giles doing a nice job to try and create something, try and create a big play. But the Saskatchewan Rough Rider, by getting after Giles the way they have been, they're going to limit his accuracy throwing the football. Rider offense is going to get the ball back here. Penalty flag flies, and they'll whistle it. No kick on third down and eight against the Argos. So they'll move this back and kick Procedure. it from five yards. Toronto number 37. Five yard penalty remains third down. A little further. Prefontaine will launch this from just over his 35 yard line. Prefontaine, who is number one in the CFL record books in terms of hunting average during his career. That's a good kick. Jackson at his 15. Nowhere to go, brings it, picks it out to near the 20 yard line. 7.07 to go. Third quarter, 14 12, Saskatchewan. Well, now in his seventh season, Brian Crawford, the Queen's product, has made his reputation as one of the CFL's best special teamers. It's because he uses his eyes and uses his smarts, reading the blocking scheme, figuring out the lane that Tristan Jackson's trying to get to. Crawford anticipates where the return's trying to go and gets there to cut it off. Leading special teams tackler, as he normally is for the Argos, his 10th of the season. Marion Durant, play action, far side. Jason Claremont over the 30-yard line, very close to a first down. Let's go to the sideline again with another update. Here's Lee Jones. Yeah, thanks, guys. Quick update on Andy Fantu. Still on the sidelines, has yet to go into play. Still is feeling pain when he plants with his right ankle. As a result, they say he is doubtful to return to the game, guys. And again, this play coming in that first half. Fantu's his second game since returning from the National Football League tryouts. Brandon West takes the handoff on second and short yardage and easily attains the first down. And we see Andy Fantuz, the CFL's reigning most outstanding Canadian after leading the league in receiving a year ago. Fortunately, the Riders have gotten used to life without Andy Fantuz in the first part of this year. Hopefully they can get through the rest of this game without him. It didn't look too promising for the Riders early this season, though, that one in six start. Gets off again. Up near midfield. Chris Getzlaff is now banged up and grimacing. Slow to get up. Chris Getzlaff having an absolutely monstrous day. But now prone on the field, and trainers will come out to look at him. As the Rough Riders try to figure out what they're going to do with their dwindling receiving core. With right now two Canadians down, they're going to go to a two-back formation. Looks like Jay Pottinger as he tried to punch the football out. <laughs> Just gave Getzlaff a pretty good one to the ribs. Getzlaff looks like he's okay. Getzlaff, by the way, with a season high. Six receptions for 153 yards to go along with that touchdown today. So it will be first and 10 for the Riders from their own 53-yard line. 
completely different looking offense since late second quarter. And they were finally able to solve the Argos defense. There's a rush now. Durant stays in and throws it away, a wobbler. But he's very lucky he did not get sacked. That's what Ken Miller loves about his quarterback. Claude Roten was draped all over Darian Durant, but we've talked about it so many times before. He is the CFL's version of Harry Houdini. Yeah, Darian Durant, the guy who put the word escapability in some dictionaries. It not is in any now. official dictionary. The Dwayne Ford Dictionary. It might not have been a word before, but it is now. Durant 12 of 20 for 201 yards. 34 by himself on the ground. Pocket closes. Decides to take off with it, but not this time. E.J. Kowalik again spots him, and the Riders will have to kick it away. Another injured Argo on the field. Kevin Huntley slow to get up. A good open field tackle there by Quali to snuff out that drive for the Riders. Both offenses sputtering a little bit here now as the defenses tighten and hold. Chris Milo will go back to kick. Milo, three kickers now on the Rider roster. Luca Kanji's back and getting healthier. Jamie Borm recently acquired. Eddie Johnson spanked up. Owens tight ropes the sidelines and nowhere to roam. Argos will start at their 18 when we come back to Mosaic Field in Regina on TSA. Regina, hometown Rough Riders rallying back from a deficit to lead the Toronto Argonauts 14-12. Anybody's ball game here, though. Puff and go. Wide open is... Mike Bradwell and the biggest pass for the Argos plus a roughing penalty tacked on after Bradwell was knocked out of bounds and the Argos are going to advance this football deep into Saskatchewan territory great toss by Stephen Giles well, Mike Bradwell gets an opportunity to come in the lineup with Spencer Watt banged up attempting to make it Dive and catch on the last possession. Stephen Giles right there freezes the corner with the pump fake. Then lays it over the top and you see the reaction. Nick Graham jumps. That was on the pump. Right over the top. Bradwell who doesn't get a lot of looks. 15th catch of the season. One of his biggest. McMaster Brad. Argos from the 30, Corey Boyd into a cluster of green. Really, Corey Boyd on a lot of those runs, living up to that average of about 4.6 yards, almost five yards there. So after that huge play by Bradwell, the key now, Dwayne, the story of this game, the Toronto Argonauts' inability to convert close to Saskatchewan's goal line into the red zone. They've had a lot of Noel Prefontaine who's been perfect, but they'd like to see the end zone a little, if any. Second and six, Giles goes end zone, caught, touchdown, Andre Jury. And the drought is over. Almost a month without an offensive touchdown the Argos strike pay dirt first touchdown pass is a Toronto Argonaut for Stephen Giles here Andre Dury is going to line up in the slot crossing routes with Bradwell on the outside and he just beats Lance Frazier who bites on the wheel route nice adjustment to the throw at the end by Dury Stephen Giles first touchdown passes in Argo Andre Dury Hauls it in, second touchdown of the season. After 186 minutes and 39 seconds and 33 possessions, the Argos offense finally, finally finds the end zone. The Argos regain the lead. Andre Dury with his second touchdown reception of the season. 
you see 33 possessions. Three full games the Argos went without an offensive touchdown. Well, the well has been so dry. We wondered if they'd ever find it. We're suddenly looking at a different Argonaut team. This is a team that has struggled so poorly, so much in second halves of football games and in third quarters coming out of locker rooms and really has spelled that two and eight record this season. The second half, the point differential for the Argos this year, minus 64. You're not going to win too many football games with that ratio. Oh, and that's one of the big trends that th this team aims to turn around. Steven Giles with two big throws on that possession is sure doing his part to help them get out of that rut. Brandon West back near his 15 yard line to accept the kick from Grant Shaw. 19 14, Toronto. West from his 25. Will make his way, advancing the football near the 35-yard line. Tristan Black, the special teams tackle. Darian Durant and Steven Giles. Sure, if they looked in the mirror, they'd see themselves at the other side. Such similar quarterbacks. The way they throw the football, the way they run the football. And both of them have grown to become leaders as quarterbacks. Well, no question to hear the two of them speak about each other yesterday the the mutual admiration that these guys developed for each other during their time as teammates certainly carries forward funny to hear jim barker talking about darian durant and his coming of age was when barker was with the calgary stampeders and durant and giles were fighting for the starting job and durant had his seminal moment when he threw a hail mary pass for chris getzlaff and suddenly it was his team yeah absolutely. Barker remembered that yeah a big win against the Calgary Stampeders you think back to that 08 season Marcus Crandall gets injured we were doing a game in BC at the time and Stephen Giles initially went into the football game but looking for someone to bring some calm to the huddle Ken Miller felt Darian Durant was that guy Durant great play action here some deception just a little pitch out to Gets, gets laughed, but he could not hang on. There's a rarity. Second down now. We'll look back to that game in 2008. BC Place. Marcus Crandall was the starter after the trade of Kerry Joseph. He was injured. Giles, who had been acquired from Edmonton in the trade, came in. He was ineffective, so Ken Miller went to Darian Durant, looking to bring that, that sense of calm to the rider huddle, knowing Durant could be that guy. And really, despite some little back and forth for the job, essentially never looked back from that point on. Here's the Argo rush. Durant gets hammered by Kowali. Deep downfield throws it. Darian Durant dusts himself off on a punishing jolt by Ichiro Kowali, and Durant is feeling it. Yeah, Darian Durant.